Hey everyone, this is Tiki Tom. I'm coming to you from uh, John's Pass Village down here in Madeira Beach, Florida. Behind me you see the drawbridge that was just up going down. On the other side of that is Treasure Island. The view from here, all that over there, is John's Pass Village. In a minute or two, I'm going to take you on a little tour with me down there. <clears throat> Losing my, my voice, it's early in the morning. And we'll take a little travel through there. So why don't you come for a walk with me through John's Pass Village. It's one of my favorite places to come down here. This pass was actually created from a hurricane back in the mid 1800s. And it was discovered by a guy named John Levick, hence the name John's Pass. Anyway, over here we have hooters and bubble gums, all kinds of neat little restaurants and shops to go explore. There's a boardwalk here with boats and jet skis and pirate ships that you can go out and sail and dolphin tours, everything. You can even fish from the pier over here. Every time we come down here, there's a lot of people fishing underneath this bridge over here, right behind me. Let's take a little travel through here. Get you guys a little tour of what's what's going on here. It's kind of early here, so you're gonna hear some trucks and people all loading things. And I wanted to get here a little early, so there wasn't as many people, so we could look around a bit. I'm going to bring you up to the uh, boardwalk here now. This is one of the marinas here where they take you out on the dolphin tours and do all that fun stuff. There's one of the dolphin tour boats. So the pelicans over there, these guys are always here. Pirate ship is up in front there. Haven't been out on that yet, but would love to. Up there, there's a little lighthouse on top of the Friendly Fisherman restaurant. I love that thing. It's one of the iconic Centerpieces here, if you want to call it that. I guess some of these places do serve breakfast here early in the morning, which is good to know. All kinds of cool shops behind me here. All these cool shops. And over here is the power chip. Out there, you can see it, there's a sandbar that in low tide you can see. A lot of people park their boats out there, anchor off and party, have a good time. Down there's the jet skis. actually the center. This is the center of coming in down the street here and I'll show you that here in a minute. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see it down there, but it's still way in the water. Come here, Dad. The bird keeps messing with it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not. 
There he goes. There was just a stingray down there everybody was looking at in the water. Pretty neat. Over here is more boats and jet ski rentals and this is Scully's over here. Restaurant right on the water. It's a cool place. Also the hut, bar and grill. It's very tropical, tiki looking inside there. My type of place, tiki town place. Again, here we go. We're getting towards the end of the boardwalk up here. Everybody's getting the jet skis and boats ready to for all the tourists to come down here and want to go out and play around in the water. Even though it is late October, the water here is probably still about 80 degrees. And it's uh, pretty nice. Houses down here. Not much getting towards the end. If you can see out there, the sandbar I was telling you about. Right out there, by that green little island. And that's where everybody will, on the weekends, you'll see about 40, 50 boats anchored up out there, and everybody's partying and having a good old time for themselves. It's a pretty nice view from there to here. And over there is the drawbridge we just saw that was up. Pretty neat to watch that drawbridge go up. And believe it or not, for a little village, this little it used to be like a little fishing village, I guess, at one time, and it just kind of morphed into a tourist thing and got built up and pretty popular now. And there's a lot of stuff here. A lot of little shops. This is just along the water part here, the boardwalk. There's a lot of little shops and game rooms and things to do for the kids also. And if you like to buy things, this is definitely the place to come. Especially Florida type things. Again, over there is Hooters and the Friendly Fishermen with the lighthouse on top of the building. And this is the center of John's Pass Village. Christmas time, they put trees down here and decorate it all up pretty nice. That's the way we originally came in from there. And here, all the way down the end of the street, is shops and restaurants and all kinds of stuff. Corner of the street is Village Boulevard in the boardwalk place. So you can see all these shops still kind of closed up here right now. It's like again, I said it is early. I wanted to get here before all the people were crowding the place up because it will get busy. More shops here. And yes, they even have a cow, a white moo dairy cow down at John's Pass. And here he is. Can you see the moo dairy cow? The sun's hitting off my camera. It's kind of hard for me to see right now. But that's the white moo dairy cow. And you say, why do you have a dairy cow down at John's Pass on the beach? Because it's an ice cream place.
anyway that's about it all the way down the end here just more shops the coolest part is up there by the water I just showed you the boardwalk me that's where I like to hang out yeah, jets, you got scooters you can rent here that loud bus passed by we got scooters scooter rentals down here game room upstairs see all the way down into the street again there's more shops gift shops restaurants and all that sort of thing I hope you enjoyed this little travel through John's Pass Village with me if you guys know any more history about it or have any interesting things that have happened with you here on our family vacations or not please leave comments below we'd appreciate it and we'll talk to you later.